taking the podium, the Kaduna State Governor, Nasir El Rufai, defends the state's policy direction, which seeks to support local enterprises and attract foreign investment. Kaduna as a young state, Your Excellency, we call ourselves young because most of our people, at least 85% of the population of this state, are below the age of 35. This abundance of youth is potentially a blessing, but it can be a source of peril if not well harnessed. Young people need good education and then jobs. Governments, whether state or federal, can at best employ only a few persons directly. In fact, less than 90,000 persons work for the government of Kaduna State. Yet, Anything between 8 and 10 million people call our state their home. A few of the private investment projects in our pipeline can easily outstrip the number of government jobs. Therefore, government as an employer of everyone is a mirage, but government as a facilitator of job creation is an obligation. He is also happy to report on the success of CatStep an entrepreneurship program run in partnership with the Bank of Industry. The first thing we did, Your Excellency, following the footsteps of your Ease of Doing Business Charter, is to have our own state Ease of Doing Business Charter. In Kaduna, we have worked to improve the ecosystem for doing business. Registration of businesses in the state has become very friendly and easy to any intended entrepreneur, particularly for fresh businesses. Today in Kaduna State, Your Excellency, I'm happy to report that registration of business premises is done within 24 hours. Building plan permits are obtained within three weeks, and certificate of occupancy is issued, signed by the governor in four to six weeks. Your Excellency, the Kaduna State government is in a tripartite agreement with the Kaduna Business School and the Bank of Industry to train, mentor, and provide access to finance to 5,000 young men and women in the next four years through a program called Kaduna Startup and Entrepreneurship Program, CADSTEP. CADSTEP has so far trained over 1,200 young men and women of, of, of which about 300 have accessed loans at 5% interest, totaling over 500 million, and have so far created over 1,000 jobs. I congratulate CADSTEP for this achievement. <laughs> Through CADSTEP, we empower our young entrepreneurs with modern business skills and support them to develop business plans that can be funded through our partnership with the Bank of Industry. In the highlight of the program, the Vice President, Professor Yemi Shimbaju, explains the purpose and impact of the MSME clinics and the one-stop shops. We're here today to flag off the 20th edition of the National MSME Clinics. The MSME Clinic is a federal government initiative whose sole objective is to work with state governments to support small and medium-scale enterprises. The engine of commercial growth in any economy is small businesses, and we cannot seriously plan for economic growth without a focus plan to assist small businesses. The National MSME Clinics brings government closer to the people by assembling in one place all the regulatory agencies whose work has an impact on the business experience of small businesses, thereby providing them with one single platform to which small businesses can bring their business-related challenges for the intervention of regulatory agencies, instead of having to go from agency to agency trying to solve these problems. Today's event, as I've said, is the 20th edition of the clinics. Through the various editions, we have seen inspiring examples of how governments can make a difference in the lives of entrepreneurs by paying attention to them and by demonstrating the political will 
to unwind the bureaucratic bottlenecks that so frequently face our businesses. MSMEs are also now better informed about the roles that the various federal government agencies regulating their activities play, as well as the incentives available for their benefit. I'm also aware that most agencies during the MSME clinics offer price reductions for product registration and for all other pre-investment approvals during the clinics. For instance, it was observed during some of the earlier editions of the clinics that a lot of MSMEs were finding it difficult to register their businesses as a result of the cost. So the federal government, through the Corporate Affairs Commission, approved a special window of 90 days from the 1st of October 2018 to December 31st, 2018 to register businesses at 5,000 Naira only. Now this is, this is the reduction, as you know, from the 10,000 Naira that it used to cost to register businesses. Before he left the podium, the vice president reaffirmed the federal government's commitment to the people while he gives a report on the impact of the government's social intervention programs. As part of our efforts at deepening the impact of the clinics, we will be establishing, as you've heard uh, from the managing director of POI, we'll be establishing shared facilities for MSMEs based on a partnership between the federal government, uh, states, including Kaduna State, of course, the Bank of Industry, Nexim, FIRS, NAFDAQ, and SOM, and interested private sector partners. Now, these shared facilities will be fully equipped with machinery and equipment required for various trades and businesses. Small businesses can then do their businesses at these locations at a reasonable cost. What this means is that an MSME is spared the financial burden of having to buy their own equipment or having to rent space in order to do business. Where possible, these shared facilities would have been pre-certified by relevant agencies, removing the need for MSMEs to pursue their own certifications by themselves. Kaduna State is one of the states selected for the establishment of the first pilot shared facilities. And I'm more convinced than ever that our primary role as government is to continue to create an enabling environment for these small businesses to thrive and to expand. As an immediate step, we'll ensure that all finalists from this maiden edition of the MSME Awards will be supported with publicity, with media exposure, to enable them reach even larger markets at home and abroad. As I close, let me reiterate the commitment of the federal government to continuous investment in the Nigerian people, especially by way of our social investment programs. Here in Kaduna State, as you've heard from His Excellency the Governor, our NPAR program has engaged 18,065 beneficiaries as of August 2018. And I'm sure that we have represented here some of our NPAR beneficiaries, of our NPAR volunteers. The school feeding program, which gives a free meal a day to over a million school children every day in 3,930 schools here in Kaduna State. That program also employs 12,376 cooks in this, in this same program as part of our home grown school feeding program. We've given loans under the cheap program to over... Thank you very much. Under the cheap program, we've given loans to 19,455 beneficiaries so far. In our national cash transfer program, we pay 5,000 Naira every month to 10,482 of the poorest households in Kaduna State. So far, we've done just over 10,000, but we certainly will do more. I'd like to thank the state government for cooperating with us, and we are confident that together we can bring the desired change to the good people of Kaduna State. This state is important from every possible perspective, 
is important as a melting pot for all Nigerians who come here to live and to do business.